Hi, this is Don Williams from Ultimate Motorcycling Magazine, and I just got off riding the new 2018 Triumph Speed Triple RS in the rain, the sunshine, and even some sleet. It was quite a day today. The new Triumph Speed Triple is a big improvement over the old one. Not that the old one wasn't great, but this is even up to a new level. The RS is a new flavor of the Speed Triple for this year. And the big thing is, of course, the engine has more power. It's now up to almost 150 horsepower. Uh, they did it with a bunch of changes of internal parts, all these little incremental increases, and more important than it having more peak horsepower because peak horsepower is way overrated. Most importantly, from about 4,000 RPM on, it's just incrementally better than last year. So you always have more power on tap, even from the bottom all the way up. The bike loves to rev, now revs over 10,000 RPM. So that's an improvement of a thousand over last year. And those are all great engine things that make the bike a lot more fun to ride. But importantly, the bike still handles great. This RS version is the upgraded version. It has Olean's forks and rear suspension, of course, completely adjustable to your style. The stock settings that I rode in today were great. Now granted, the roads in Spain, where we are here, are excellent condition. They're super smooth, super well maintained, nothing like Southern California where everything's moving and nobody pays attention to the quality of the roads. Here, it's smooth. But the bike also was easy to handle in the rain. And one of the reasons for that is that it has four different usable modes. You have a rain mode, which really does work, drops the horsepower down to 100 horsepower, which is still plenty, but also slows down the revving speed. And it increases, it also increases the traction control level. Going through the modes doesn't just change the amount of power or the power delivery, but it also changes the traction control. From there, you have a, what they call a road mode, which is like for touring, just driving on the freeway. That puts you back up to the 148 horsepower that you can always get. And then they have a sport mode, which of course means much more direct power delivery where you get on the gas and it goes very intuitive. Actually, all of them are intuitive the way they react. You quickly get used to the throttle reaction that they offer. Beyond those three major modes, you also have a rider configurable mode, so you can set up exactly how you want the traction control, power delivery, and horsepower to be. So those are all things that you can make the bike do exactly what you want. The bike also has an IMU in it, which means that it gives you the more sophisticated cornering ABS and cornering traction control. Again, on a day like this where it was dry, it was wet, it's very nice to have that feeling that when you get on the gas, and a couple times I did, the back end starts to come out, the traction control comes in and puts things straight and makes the bike work exactly how it should. We also had an abbreviated ride on the track. The bike is fantastic. Had it up to about 135 miles an hour, rock solid, feels good in corners. You can put it where you want to put it. When I got out of a couple of damp corners, it got on the gas, back end starts to come out, traction control does its job, comes in. ABS, excellent on this bike. I actually used it quite a bit again because of the wet roads. The front brakes are Brembo's, 320 millimeters, outstanding. Rear brake, not so good. The Nissan has a pretty much a dead feel. You step on until the ABS comes in and it starts to work, and you never really feel like you're getting much out of the rear brake. It's, it's a little disappointing in comparison to the front brake. Another nice thing about the front brake is that they have an adjustability of the uh, sensitivity of it, so you can have a more or less progressive feel. I really like the brakes because they had a soft bite, then a very fast, progressive slowing down. So if you needed just, just scrub that little tiny bit of speed off, you could do it without feeling any kind of jerkiness. But if you needed to crank it down, it didn't take much effort to just pull things to a stop. And that is part of what makes this bike great. There's so much confidence. The front end has a brake of only 22.9 degrees, and that is steep. That is much steeper than you will normally see on a sport bike. But in this case, it works. The bike does not feel twitchy. It does not feel anything other than solid when you're riding it. And again, on a day like this, where I had rain, sleet, and sunshine, dry, wet, and slick, icy roads, 
it never made me feel like I was going to be in trouble or that I was overwhelmed by the bike. Despite all the horsepower, despite the aggressive handling, the bike is very confidence inspiring and that confidence is not misplaced. So can't wait to ride it some more. It's always great to come to a place like Spain where you have amazing roads, amazing things to see. I recommend it highly if you're looking for a vacation to ride where you want to ride a motorcycle to get a bike and ride through the mountains here. All the little villages up here are picturesque. You'll want to stop at all of them and take pictures. Great place to be. If you want to do it on a motorcycle, you might do an adventure bike, you might do a touring bike, but if you're looking for an upright sport bike, the Triumph Speed Triple RS is an amazing choice for roads like this.